I'm the fourth Ken, and this is Project Four. I'm a barber, educator, entrepreneur, and content creator, and I'm from Philly. So I officially started cutting hair when I was about 12 years old. I was 12 years old exactly, I remember. Um, I was actually at basketball camp during the summer in between sixth grade and seventh grade. And I remember we stopped at Ross. My mom took us home, me and my cousins and my sister. We stopped at Ross and I seen a pair of clippers, like a pair of Conair clippers, a home brand. And I asked her, I was like, mom, I have the money at home. I had money from like my graduation. You know, people would give you gifts and stuff. And I asked her, mom, can I please get these pair of clippers? And she was like, you know what, go ahead. Because she knew this was what I wanted to do. I'd say I officially came into the barber industry when I was around 14 years old. Uh, I think it was 2017. And specifically the YouTube barber industry. And what initially drew people to my channel was my age. You know, I was 14, whoa, nobody was cutting hair at 14. You know, you hear about it, but the fact that I was documenting it and showing people my haircuts at that age, it drew people to my channel. A lot of people always ask me, oh, Ken, you know, who's on your team? Who, who helps you out with things? And I always tell them, my parents, my mom and dad. Shout out mom and pops. Um, so usually my dad, he usually helps me with content creation ideas, uh, you know, brainstorming different ideas that can, you know, reignite my channel, bring more traction, bring newer viewers. Um, and he also helps with the social media aspect. He reviews, you know, some things that I post. Oh, if that ain't right, take that down. And I listen to him because, you know, he's older. He knows more than me. I'm a kid. I still think like a kid. I'm only 18 years old. So when my parents advise me about certain things and the path to take, you know, you should listen to him because, you know, typically they know best. Um, other things that my dad does is he, he assists my mom with the financial and business aspect. Um, that's really my mom's, you know, expertise. She handles the business paperwork, uh, but she also teaches me in the process. So when she's doing something, she's making sure I'm right by her side learning also. Overall though, I really, really love cutting hair. I love everything about it. But all my barbers know this. You know, you get that one haircut, have you questioning your whole career. It's so difficult, it's a struggle. But once you get it done, it's like, wow, I really did that and I did it good. You know, I love everything about the craft. And even outside of the craft, I love hair textures in general. You know, when people ask me, who am I? I usually say, you know, barber, entrepreneur, YouTuber. But I also say I'm a hair enthusiast because I really love hair in general. So I sat down one day and I was like, you know, I really have to increase my traction on my channel. I have to create my own lane because the age, that isn't gonna draw people to my channel anymore. There's plenty of 18 year old barbers. So I really sat down and was like, what's something that I'm bringing to the table that, you know, most people aren't, specifically barbers in the industry. And I was like, shape ups, you know, a lot of people focus on fades, tapers, and that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. But I really wanna educate people and teach people about shape ups, how to create a symmetrical shape up, how to do symmetrical C cups, you know, how to prep the lineup, how to prep the skin, how they're both related, how to shape up different hair textures, 
because you can't do every hair texture the same. For some people, you can use alcohol and, you know, sea breeze yarn, and other people, you can only use hairspray yarn. Some people, hairspray doesn't even work on their hair. So it's like I'm really trying to create my own path, and I'm going to stick to it. So my advice to other young barbers is to is that, you know, if an older barber tries to discredit you or talk down on you just based off your age and they use your age as the main reasoning to low boy you, don't even listen to it. You know, your time's going to come. Remain humble, stay in your lane, create your own lane, stay in it. Your time will come. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, The Fourth Ken, and I'm back with another video.